My name is Maitland, and this is the January 2021 Energy Update. This month, we're doing the Energy Update in an audio version. There are several things that I want to mention about January. I guess that's why we're doing the Energy Update. The first thing I want to talk about is how I like New Year's a lot because there is a lot of belief system wrapped around the ending of one year and the beginning of another year. So you already have a lot of energy invested into letting go of all the things that you don't want anymore or that you don't like anymore or that you don't want to do, that you don't want to have in your life, that you think is, um, I hear the word crappy a lot, um, that you just want to put behind you. So New Year's, for those people who celebrate the changing of the calendar, is a great time to let go of that energy. And what's going to happen since 2020 presented a lot of shifts and changes forcibly that people didn't want to take, that um, you're going to have a lot to let go of. This is going to be a, a year that we see the most energy just shed and released, the celebration and um, New Year's is going to be amazing. And so what we notice is this energy that you no longer want to have in your life is released out in, into kind of like the atmosphere. You could think of it as being in the atmosphere and all around you. And this is good for us because it gives the earth extra energy to use to manifest bigger shifts and changes. So you, if you're thinking about 2020 and letting go of the things that you don't want, that um, that's not really unwantable energy. One man's trash is another man's treasure. So even though it is something that you don't desire, it can be used because energy is not created nor destroyed. It's, it's moved, manipulated, it's fed, it's ignored, but it's not created nor destroyed. So if you're releasing energy, which could be thoughts, emotions that you don't know, that you don't want anymore, it could be the actions or memories things that you don't want to do, that energy that you would normally invest into it would be freed up. So my request to you is that not only do you let go of all those things, because I will celebrate that, I ask that you have another thought that follows after it, which is, may this energy be used for something greater. Because the way that you were using it was with something that you don't like anymore, so now that it's that 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 it's loose, you say, may it be used for something greater. So in January, when you're in the constant mood of letting go because you're getting used to the calendar date 2021, right behind that thought have, may it be used for something greater. So then the earth can take that extra abundant energy and begin to change her heartbeat again. I don't know if you're really into the Schumann's resonance, but this would be a great year to track it. They have apps and stuff like that on your on, on your phone. And normally the heartbeat of the earth is very low, but you're going to see some spikes and shifts. And this is actually going to be a clear kind of measurement of the mass consciousness on earth because the more the people on earth who are anchored to the earth's energy, the more the people on earth are coming into mass consciousness where they're all thinking and feeling the same thing rather than identifying as separate beings doing separate things in their separate, very important days, <laughs> that they're going to then create this connection in mass consciousness. And that is going to um, connect to the earth in a stronger way. You know, when you do math and you, you add and you say two plus two is four and four plus four is eight, in, in energy, it's not really like that. You can add one and one and it would double, but it would also add more to it. So if you had two plus two, it wouldn't really be four, it'd be like six. 
you had five plus five, it wouldn't be 10, it'd be like 16, you know, because the act of combining the energy itself multiplies it. So when we have mass consciousness happening, which is continuing to go from 2020, that's, that's, that's some of the great stuff that we're taking forward into January, that um, it's going to increase your ability to uh, connect to the whole, to have these deeper aha moments. So I want to talk about the chakras a little bit. Uh, and I, I'm going to do that a little bit earlier because when, when you let go of a lot of invested energy, whether it's an old habit, a thought, an action, a personality trait, uh, a belief system, when, when, when you let go of that, it, it frees you up to invest your energy in other ways that can have that compounded return that I was just talking about with the mass consciousness. When you let go and you invest your energy that way, you, your heightened awareness, your psychic abilities, your intuitive abilities are extended. And this is, is um, right on track with the whole shift of 3D to 5D from earth being material man, uh, you know, and I am separate from others into I am part of others and my thoughts are powerful. They're not internal things. They give birth to energy that transmits out and away from me. That's really powerful. And then to begin to understand that, connect to it and believe in it makes it more powerful. So this change from 3D to 5D is continuing and we have mass consciousness continuing. And then we have January, which is we've got to, um, you know, let go of those things because the calendar change. It's, it's give us a new opportunity, January, the new opportunity of 2021. And then, okay, so that's happening. So the chakras that are going to be um, challenged the most are going to be your your crown chakra, the, the purple one that sits on top of your head, and the higher consciousness chakra that's like two feet above you, which doesn't really necessarily work with your physical body, but it does work with your your um, um, your higher con your higher self. I guess is what we call it, higher consciousness, huh? <laughs> it works it works with the higher energy um, that's also connected to your other lifetimes, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. So the white higher consciousness chakra that is now beyond the physical body and the crown chakra, which is above your head, which still deals with the physical body, those two are going to be um, um, challenged the most because January says, let go, reinvent, get rooted. But at the same time that you're getting rooted, you're going way up in vibrations. So I like this January energy. The chakra that you're going to need is your root chakra and the earth chakra that's located in your feet. So it's one of these months of swirling energy around the earth where it's as above, so below. Your higher consciousness chakra and your earth chakra are going to be super activated. Be clear. Please, please be clear in what you really want to let go of. Decide not to do it anymore. Not to be mean to yourself. Not to put yourself down to align your things, align yourself with the things that make you happy in life and do those things. It's going to be very important to have the happiness and, and joy in your life um, because that vibration is going to unlock that final shift from 3D to 5D. It's not going to be like who knows more no, it's going to be who, who, um, 
who can feel more and feel more authentically, not pretend. So the chakras that are going to be strengthened is going to be the heart chakra because you're going to be practicing feeling a lot. And, and so if you're already an emotional person, January might bring up a lot more emotion, but not like a tsunami. You're not going to be overwhelmed because you're going to be feeling more strong and more grounded. You're going to be feeling more intuitive and more rooted to the earth. It's like your light being is stretching deeper into the earth and higher up into the atmosphere. I said atmosphere twice in this session. This is fun. <laughs> so imagine your light really, really, really tall and really, really, really into the earth. Um, okay, then the heart chakra, like I mentioned, is the one that's going to be strengthened because you're going to be able to feel more. But I, I, I think I would even add in the solar plexus, the yellow one, that, that's the me, 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 me chakra. And that's the one that says... Um, here is your character. Here is who you are. This is, you know, how you define yourself because that's going to shift and change and not in a bad way at all, but it, it's going to help you say, yeah, this is what I feel. So this month in January, we have doubles, double chakras, the ones that are going to be challenged crown chakra, higher consciousness chakra, the ones that are going to be needed, root chakra, and earth chakra, and then the ones that are going to be strengthened, heart chakra and solar plexus. Doubles, doubles, doubles. Here are the crystals that go along with the, the chakras. So if you want to continue to heighten your energy up into the atmosphere and raise your vibrations, I would look at carrying things that are celestial, like Moldavite, um, like Lebanese glass, um, tektite, and if those don't really resonate with you, selenite is really going to be your friend in January. If you're looking at expressing more, like you want to know, you, you want to come from the place of, if you want to come from the place of expressing your love more, then I would hold some malachite, which will help dig out those um, deep hidden things. And then I would carry something soft, softer, like um, pink opal is very, very kind and sweet, but also rose quartz is good. If, you, if you're already feeling too much and you're like, I just want to keep in pace with this amazing growth that January is having, then to keep in pace, I would probably carry a green adventuring or even an Amazonite because then that will help what you're processing in your heart come out your mouth a little easier in words, in like in conversation. And then for the getting more grounded and more rooted in January, I would always carry black tourmaline. I like that vibration a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, but you can add some creativity with it, like a, a brown star jasper is very creative and pretty, or even um, I'll even see a river rock. Because it's from the earth, but it, it moves freely. And there's a, a, a concept that you're going to be getting in January, which is staying grounded does not mean stagnant. Staying grounded does not mean you have to be rooted 10 feet into the earth. Roots grow and roots change and they're very fluid. But it's this presence of knowing, connecting, identifying where you are. That's what keeps you grounded. I mentioned that I was going to talk briefly about timelines because as your energy vibrations go higher, because the earth's vibration is getting higher, because now it has this abundant extra energy that you're letting go of that it can use to make these shifts, you're also going to be experiencing a little bit of your other lives kind of coming in or intruding into your thoughts and your feelings and your decisions and your actions. 
I like to think of it like uh, if you were mixing colors and you had one color on the left side and one color on the right side, and then they kind of like scooched over and they touched each other and they made a third color. So when other lifetimes of yours are bleeding into your current life, <laughs> we'll call that a third color experience. So you're going to be having some third color experiences. When you're awake and you're having these thoughts and you're like, these don't do anything with the life that I have. Why am I thinking like this? Is it a history book that I read? Is it some future daydreaming thing I'm going through? But this is like small little jumps and cracking open your um, your psychic and intuitive abilities beyond a singular lifetime experience. Because that's what the higher consciousness chakra does. And as I mentioned before, that's the one that's going to be um, challenged a lot. So those of you who are, are already sensitive have maybe already felt these third color experiences where parallel lives are just kind of blending into yours. And for those of you who haven't, it'll feel like tiny little aha moments, but it feels like you, but it's not you. And it can get a little confusing, but why it's happening but this is why it's happening, is to help you increase your awareness of why you are here on earth. What is this for? Because there's going to be, in 2021, a lot of shakeup. 2020 was a big shakeup, but it was more of the individual internal shakeup. Now you're going to, in 2021, see the external effects of those shakeups. Does that make sense? And we'll talk more about them. In, in January, they're not going to be in your face. So there's just no need. In January, it's more about you need to care for yourself. You need to remember self first, how to look at your expression of emotion, because that's the whole I'm coming away from 3D and I'm going into a 5D, which is uh, moving from emotions and moving from the power of thought rather than the power of force by manipulating the matter part of it. Because the matter part of it is just an extension of the energetic vibration. And when we live in emotions and thought, we are going straight to the vibrations. So you're revolving. That's the word that it is. You're evolving. So in January 2020, you may feel more confident. For those of you who've already been working with your with your intuitive abilities, you might feel stronger in them and more confident. And the little the little blip here is that when you gain more strength and awareness and confidence with it, it's also a, well, the rest of the world isn't really lining up with what I'm seeing and feeling and doing. So what's happening? So that little, hey, I'm getting it and I'm understanding it, but the world in general is not working that way. That little thing right there is the part where 2021 is going to go, Oh, okay, we have to shift that for you as well. So we're going to start juggling some other things, start breaking down some systems. Remember, um, well, you might not remember if you're new, if you're a new luminaire, hi. But if you're not, I like to talk a lot about economy and healthcare systems and governments. And I've been mentioning it for over a decade a long time how shifts are going to come. Um, healthcare is going to come first and um, financial is going to come second and the government. And you've already felt the first blips in all of those areas. Oh, you have. You felt the recession. You felt, you know, all the, the politics trying to run the healthcare systems and 
and taking away some of people's power and making the decision in their own health. And and then you yourself, if you're a sensitive being, I bet you've even gotten into things like homeopathic remedy, energy healing, self-healing, aromatherapy, some other ways to really help your body stay strong and um, heal itself. Um, the power of mental thought and thinking. <laughs> uh, so you've probably already done that. And then, of course, you've seen the whole political um, shifts, especially um, with the change of the people that are in power. And that's a, a global comment. All of that is kind of like step one to making changes because on top of all of this, right? You're, you're, I'm so busy being human. I'm a 3D mass moving human, which, you know, that's where you guys have been for decades and decades and decades and decades and decades. Can I say centuries? Centuries. And um, then you're, you're moving away from that and gaining more awareness because what's on top of all of that is the multidimensional beings that are outside of Earth's atmosphere waiting to say hi, waiting to help you out, waiting to come forward and show you what you can really do. They're already on Earth and living on Earth. That's no new news. That's not new. But the new news is that they're ready to talk to us and we're almost there. That whole mass consciousness is really what is, um, it's really what's helping, which is cool. So when, if you want to get the best out of January, 2021, I would invest more time in really focusing on what you want to let go of. Invest more time and skills in learning how to speak from the heart and to generate joy in your life, which is an internal, um, eternal flame of happiness. Whereas when, when you use the word happiness, it generally is like, oh, I'm happy that I have that car, or I'm happy that I have that, um, that jacket to keep me warm or my best friend or my spouse or my child or my, my animal to keep me happy. And when you're placing the value of your emotions or the root of your emotions onto something else that is external of you, you're going to start to feel the glitches on how that's not working. Because January's growth can challenge that, you know. It can say, oh, you really need that to live? Let's take it away from you. Oh, you really have to have all that money? Well, let's simplify that for you. Let's take it away so that you can really understand that you can live without it. Everything that you have created and manifested with your personality, with your environment, can shift and change and you will still survive. That is amazing. So if you are, are in that place in your life, January is going to show some of those flares, but just know it's not a punishment. It's not a punishment. It doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It means that you forgot how powerful you were. So we're going to help you out and we're going to simplify and pull some things out of your life through circumstance, through what you might call accident, through surprise. And you're going to go, oh, wow, I forgot how incredible I am. So I like January 2020 because um, it is a more positive month when it comes to identifying who you are and strengthening your energy. And then as we move throughout the rest of the year, and I'm going to do a, a yearly forecast for everybody, but as you move through the year, you know, you're going to have to position yourself. I've been very clear with how to set up your home and what to do financially in my other talks, and I will be talking about it again. But as I said, it's not going to be in your face in January, and you can take a breath, and you can relax and enjoy being out of 2020. <laughs> 
out of 2020, but um, we're not going to go that far into 2021 without making some other conscious changes. Thank you so much, Luminaires, for letting me translate the energy shifts that are on my side to your side. I really like I <laughs> I really like being a part of this. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you later, alligators. <laughs>